Hi everyone, welcome back to How to Geek. I'm back with another tutorial video and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your Viber app. So Viber is a really wonderful messaging app that helps you remain connected with your friends, family, colleagues or anybody else. You can use it for personal reason or for professional setting. It's always on the go and it has helped a lot of people to stay connected throughout the world. So if you're onto Viber and are wondering how the basics of Viber works, today I'm going to show you how it can work. So for this, make sure that you already downloaded the Viber app on your device through your App Store or your Google Play Store and also that you've already signed in through your mobile number. After that, open up the Viber app and as soon as you open it, you will land on the chat section. So I'm going to start off with how chatting on Viber works. So if there's a particular person that you want to have a conversation with, you can simply search for these people over here. And if they're already on their contacts, you can just tap on the person's name and then you can simply send in a message. Also remember that you can always send in any stickers you want or a photo you want. You can also click a picture and then send it to them. You can also send them different GIFs. And not just that, you can also add in whether you want these messages to be disappearing or you can simply turn this function off. When you tap on the three dots over here, you can share your contact location or you can send original size media to the people. And here you can see there are two options. That means that you can record your audio and your video and send it to the person. Now, if with the particular person you'd like to video call, you can tap on the upper right hand side option that shows a video call icon. If you just want to audio call, you can tap on the option just besides that that shows an audio call option. If you want to make certain changes to the chats happening with this particular person or within a group, you can simply tap on the name of the person and then go to chat info and settings and then see for yourself on what changes you'd like to make. Now I'm going to show you how exactly you can create a group on Viber. So for creating a group also, what you can do is you can tap on the upper right hand side option and then you can tap on new group. And as you tap on new group, you can simply select the people that you want to be in this group and then tap on the next button. Then you can name the group and then tap on create group. And as you do that, you will be able to send in messages. Now, after you do this, if there's any amendment you need to make to the group, you can simply go in here and then make the amendments. So this is how it works. Now I'm going to show you what do you have to do if you'd like to delete a particular chat altogether. What you can do is you can simply scroll towards the left and then you can either delete and then tap on mute or leave and delete if it's a group. Or what you can do is you can simply mute the chat or you can even pin the chat. When you pin the chat, that particular chat will appear on the topmost section. But if you'd like to no longer just ascribe that chat on the topmost section, you can just unpin the chat. Now what I'm also going to show you, if there's an individual chat, you can also scroll towards the left again and then tap on hide the chat. When you tap on hide the chat, what will happen is that you'll basically not be able to see that particular chat on the chat section. But how do you find the chat then? So what you can do here is you can type in the name of the person that you've hidden the chat with, go to that particular person. You also have to set up a pin or so that will enable you to do that. And then go to chat info and settings, scroll downwards and then tap on unhide this chat. After you tap on unhide this chat, you'll be able to see when you go back on your chat section that the, ch the chat will have reappeared on your screen. So this is basically you can hide or unhide the chat as well and then delete the chat. So then you can see that on the lower section, the second option from the left hand side says calls. The calls will give you information regarding every single Viber in call that you've had till today. You can also simply, if you want to add a new person on Viber or check anybody's Viber, you can simply tap on the top left option that shows a profile plus icon. You can enter the contacts number over here, then tap on done and then Viber will display to you who the contact is. You can also see the explore section. Explore section is for joining particular communities that are on Viber. So there are different communities you'll be able to see and you can simply tap on this particular communities and then you can tap on join community and every single information will be displayed to you over here. The same community chat groups will appear to you also on this section. Like you can see, I'm a member of this particular community and I can see every messages over here. 
then you can also see the more option on the bottom right corner on the more option the very first thing is on the upper right hand side you can see an edit icon when you tap on the edit icon you'll be able to edit your profile picture your name your date of birth your email and different other things you also have an option here that says settings so when you go to settings you can see in options like account so you can change your phone number you can deactivate your account you can just Enable Viber backup because so that you do not lose out on any of your data, although you uninstall the device. Then see your purchases and also desktops and tablets that are currently connected to your account. You can also go to privacy and then make amendments to different things that are presented to you over here. The notification settings, calls and messages settings, your media settings, your appearance, whether you want it to be a dark mode, a dark blue mode or a classic mode and then also the general settings. So this is the settings section of Viber. You can also add contacts here. You can also add up my notes, which means that you can simply keep up notes for yourself that nobody else will be able to see. And then you can also invite friends by sending them a certain link. And then you can see the about and frequently asked questions section. So this is basically how Viber works. It's not a very hard process on figuring out how Viber's functions work. And I hope that this video has further enabled you to figure it out yourself as well. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to let us know in the comment section below. Also do share and subscribe to How to Geek. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you around next time.